Hello everyone, welcome to the Canadian Edge. Time for another knife review. And uh, today we're pull out the big, the big guns. We have on the table a Kershaw Camp 10. And these are um, considered a machete uh, slash knife. And uh, I, this has been a good one I've used for a lot of camping. And I've really enjoyed using this knife. And as I say, it is a bit bigger than what I normally put on the table. It is a fixed blade, as you can see. And it has a blade length of 10 inches. Overall, it is 16 inches long with a weight of one point or one pound, 2.2 ounces, or with the sheath included, it's one pound, eight ounces. The steel on it is a 65 MN uh, tool carbon steel, and 65 MN is a low alloy carbon steel, for those of you that may not be familiar with it. Uh, it, it is a hard, uh, steel. It's a tool steel. It has good edge retention, but it has low cor corrosion resistance. So you don't want to leave this knife wet. Um, keep it dry. It, uh, it does better if you keep it dry, but depending on where you live. Uh, I live in a rainforest area, so, so I have to make sure that I, I keep it dry. <clears throat> but it does retain an edge for a long time and because it is a tool steel it will be a little harder to sharpen as well and you can see it is a black coated steel which will hopefully help with uh, corrosion resistance <clears throat> it the handle on it if you can see it does have a rubber over mold, they call it. So this part's rubber with a, I'm assuming a, it's a plastic or a glass reinforced nylon or something. But uh, it does have the rubber molding over top of it. And you can see that it does have quite the knurled grip, which makes it easy to to hang on to. And you got the Kershaw emblem or Kershaw written on there as well. So these are a bigger knife, but they uh, they proved to be a good knife so far. The sheath on this is a Kydex sheath. And sorry, it has a hard time fitting in to my camera. Kydex with nylon belt loops. And the nice thing about this sheath is that it is ambidextrous. You can change this out. So it does have, if you look here, it's got the, the loop for holding the knife into the, the sheath. You clamp that on there like that, and it goes over the finger guard and holds the knife in. But you can reverse that, and then the belt loop on the back is attached to this strap. So you can reverse that and reverse this strap as well. And you can carry this left-handed if you're a left-handed person. So that's nice of them to make it that way. Plus you've got all the different holes here you, so you can attach this to, to different things and, and the sheath becomes very versatile. Or you can use this, these straps to attach it to, to whatever, your leg, your backpack, uh, however you want to carry it. Um, it. It does have a versatile array of 
of carry for this thing. So they consider this a kukri machete or a kukri style machete so it has a little bit of the kukri shape. I'm just going to set the sheath off to the side there so we have some room and <clears throat> let you get a better look at, at the knife. Try and angle it so it actually fits in the camera. Yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, this thing is good. It, uh, as I said, can be carried ambidextrously. And you can cut, chop, slash, hack, split, scrape. This knife can handle it all. And if you're one of those guys, it's good zombie defense as well. If there's ever a zombie apocalypse, uh, this would be a good good friend to have on you. <clears throat> but I've found it great in the campsite. As you can see, looking at the blade, it's a little bit marked up. A lot bit marked up. Uh, I use this for splitting firewood, and so you can baton with it because it has fairly thick blade so it'll stand up to batoning and and so I make kindling uh, with this. Uh, I also use it at home for uh, the kindling for the fireplace and and stuff like that so it's it's a versatile knife you can do a lot with it in the, the campsite there and like I say, it's good for cutting and chopping, so if you had to chop branches or you had to get through some uh, brush or things like that, you can use this and make your way through it. And uh, yeah, it's just a versatile, I was going to say versatile little knife, but it's not little. But there are other sizes to this. You can get two other sizes that are bigger uh, than this knife and uh, I got this one because I didn't need a big one. I had uh, another machete and thought this was a good size to have. So what do I like about this? Well I really like the aesthetics on it. I'm a fan of kukri style knives. So I like the aesthetics of this knife. I like the ergonomics, again, because it is a kukri style knife. It, uh, it has good ergonomics. It's got a lot of weight down here for chopping and chops through things quite well. Uh, the thick blade, as I said, makes it good for batoning if you have to make firewood or split uh, you know, make kindling and stuff like that. It it does the trick for that, and and so the ergonomics are really good on this. I, I really appreciate the ergonomics. Uh, I like the versatility of the sheath and and how you can carry it. It allows for a different carry and for also left hand. Oh, I forgot to mention it does have a double lanyard hole as well. If you can see that, there's one down here at this end, and there is a hole down here. So you could put uh, a rope or lanyard through there to to help with your grip. So for people who like lanyards, you got double the options. But yes, I like the versatility of the sheath that you can uh, carry it a variety of different ways and it's just been a good knife and like I say the grip on it the grip is amazing your hand does not slip on this grip it you can see the whole handle is has got the rubberized grip on there and and you could have wet hands and still hang on to this bad boy so 
<clears throat> so the grip on it is is really really good and it chops through things really great as I said because of the the weight the thickness and the ergonomics of it makes it great for chopping through things and I was trying to think of a dislike and I couldn't really come up with it I thought maybe weight but no the weight is what what helps with the the chopping of this thing making it a valuable tool for chopping and and really one pound two ounces isn't all that ridiculous for something this size so I'm sure they could make them lighter if they really wanted to but but then you uh, lose out a bit with the chopping and that because well, and the slashing if you're slashing because uh, the weight does help help with that so I didn't really have a dislike on this knife it has proved to be a good solid camping knife so so check these out these are the Kershaw camp tens and like I say there is the camp line they got a couple different there's the camp five which is a smaller knife style and uh, uh, off the top of my head I forget what the other one camp 15 and camp 20 I think they are and they have longer blades on them so Kershaw making a good camp knife for those bushcraft for those who like to spend time in the bush this might be something you want to take a look at so thank you for joining me on this review I hope you enjoyed it and I will be doing another review in a couple days but until then you stay safe and stay sharp